Hi guys, my name is Ben Hajidin Ansari and you're watching the 46th tutorial on C programming and today I will teach you how you can read and write strings into your file. So you already know what a string is. A string is simply a sequence of characters and the last character is going to be the null character. So first of all, I'm going to open my file minhaj.txt and I'm going to add, I mean, I'm just going to place some random characters inside this file. So I'm going to write I love caramel glazed donuts. So I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to copy this entire string from my file into my program. So first of all, I need to define a character array. So I'm going to define a character array and its name is going to be um, alpha and it's going to be of size 100. And now with the help of my fgets function, I can get the string from my file and store it inside the character array alpha. So I'm going to write fgets. And first of all, I'm going to write the name of my character array and how much characters do I want to copy from my file. So suppose I want to copy a hundred characters. And finally, I'm going to write the pointer to my file. So I'm going to write fptr because fptr is the pointer to my file minhaj.txt. So now in the end, I'm going to use the printf statement to simply print the character array alpha. So when I run the program, I'm going to get I love caramel glazed donuts in the output screen. So this is how you can copy strings from files. Similarly, you can also place strings from your program into your file using the f put s function. So simply, I'm going, to, I'm going to initialize this character array and I'm going to write, and I also like hot chocolate. So this is my string and I want to add this string into my file minhaj.txt. So to do that, simply write the f put s function and just remove this middle argument. So now the f put s function will store the contents of the character array inside the file minhaj.txt. And since I want to keep the previous information, so I'm going to change the mode to append mode. So now when I run the program, the string will be stored inside my file. So now I'm going to just open my file and you can see I love caramel glazed donuts and I also like hot chocolate. So this is all it about how you can read strings from a file and add strings into a file. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section and thanks for watching this video.